Oh, I did. 
This song, <coughs> written by Shri Bhakti Thakur, is very important for all the devotees who want to progress in bhakti, beginning, especially those who are in family life. Shri Bhakti Thakur, and the uh, title given to this song is Kaik, that means bodily surrender or Deha and Dehik means my body which has so many limbs, organs and also all the things which are related to my body. So one by one he is offering and in his heart he is establishing connection with the Lord confirming that oh Krishna I know I am your servant I should give up all these things I am not meant to live in this world eternally but because of my karma, I'm entangled here. I've understood by the grace of pure devotees, your pure message, O Mahaprabhu. But yet, because I have not attained so much purity. So, all these things which I have, my wife, my children, my home, myself, my clothes, my dogs, my cows, my house, everything is yours. Amar Bolite Prabhu, whatever I say, mine is actually yours. And it has no other meaning in my life. Oh, from today, you sort of have all like this, promise like this, if you want to be really devotee. That's what Bhakti Minot Thakur is telling. He gave us Shiksha Guru. More than Diksha Guru. You are my father, you are my brother, you are my friend, you are my everyone. And Keeping this relationship in mind, I have relationship with others. Otherwise, I don't have any independent relationship with anyone else in this world. You are my friend, you are my wife, you are my boy, you are my daughter, you are everything to me. And all these 
relationships which I have in this world, meaning my wife, my children, they are your servant. They are not my property. I have been engaged and given opportunity to bring them to your service. That's what I am trying. Also, any disciple is not property of Gurudev. All disciples are property of Krishna, Krishna Mahaprabhu. But now they are thinking, we are thinking, and that is why we are going to. So we should not think like that. And then in the next line he is saying, at least I have understood it theoretically, and now I am practicing it. He is saying, Sei to sambandh sabhe amara prayas. I am endeavoring, I am practicing that this is how I should train myself. This is how should I should train all the members that they should serve you and they should understand that actually they are your servant. House, all the other relationships in the society and uh, wife and all, the, all other things which are related, they are yours. So when I am here, then I have to look after these things. These, these things does need some attention, some care. So I'm simply a servant, a guard, a servant who is taking care of these things. Protecting for your service, not for any other purpose. I, and what to say of for my enjoyment. And only for your purpose, just to fulfill this purpose, I also have to earn some money, so I do that. But I'm very clear that not even one part or one cent of this money is meant for my enjoyment. I should use this mon money completely in this service so that they can all gradually endeavor and practice devotional service. And I also need to spend some money and that is also in perfect harmony that is being used for your service to gradually come close to you. If wife is not in Krishna consciousness, then what should we do? We should support her or not. A father is not in that line. No relation. Is a husband not chanting, remembering that, and he is thinking that I am not servant of, that I am the servant of Krishna. Then no relation. So all our relation will depend this, that he is eternal servant of Krishna. And he is going like that. Then I should serve him. Totally. Otherwise, we can big up, give up our Guru like Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj gave up his Guru there. <coughs> Sukracharya, you know. Um, all the gop gopis have left their husbands. Hmm? You know. Bharat Maharaj, he left his mother. Quickly in a moment. When he knew that he is against Ram at once. You know, division, he left his brother, Raman. He was going to, making a plan to quarrel with Ram. He left at once. So we see that all they have. So our, re, all, all relations should be centralized on this service of Krishna Valli. If anyone Oh, a p person was very friend to me. I was saying that uh, he has been initiated from Shila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, your Prabhupada. So I was very friendly terms to him. But when he came to me, he was renounced also. But quickly when he gave up all these things, no relation, no chanting, became like Maya Badi. Oh, he came to me in a friendly term, but I told that our friendship was only based on Krishna consciousness. So now if you are not following, no friendship at all. For a moment I have no relation, relation with you. So our relation should be that. If you want to develop your Krishna consciousness. He says, Oh Mahaprabhu, I am very low. I do not understand what is better for me. I am hearing, but yet because of my fallen condition, I am unable to understand how shall I ascertain what is favorable for me, what is not favorable for me. But yes, I surrender everything on you, that you please take care of myself. And I am just a protector, a servant. He is reminding again and again himself about his eternal position. And he says, 
Thus, all these senses which are engaged in this worldly activities, may please, you take care of them. You take the reins of these senses. You are the controller. I'm just like a puppet. So, give me that strength that these senses may not indulge in any other activity which is against the bhakti and for your pleasure, as Srila Gurudev has explained. Strictly, if any relationship is coming against, we have to give it up because Krishna has ordered. This is Srinagati and we must follow, then only we can practice. Then, I shall not do anything for my sense pleasure and everything I should dedicate for your service. Why? Because I understand your pleasure is the essence of all the pleasure for me. I know I can only be happy if I'm able to please you. And we also heard in Bhagavatam other day, Yayatma Sam Prasidati. Happiness can only be derived if we are able to please Krishna. In this world also we see, if I make a happy other, those who are very close to me, then only I feel happy. But because this relationship are self-centered and within trust, we don't get satisfaction. But real satisfaction will come, like Chala Bhaktivinoda Thakur saying, if you are trying to please Sriman Mahaprabhu, if you are trying to please Nityanand Prabhu, if you are trying to please Krishna, Srimati Radhika, then by their pleasure, automatically, we'll feel happiness. And that's the essence of this song. You know Ravan? <coughs> he was worshipper, worshipper of Lord Shiva. And he gave his head in for sacrifice. And she became so happy and he gave him ten, ten heads. Eh? Always he was very pleased with Ravan. But when Ravan uh, stole away Sita and he became what? Opposite to Ram, in opposition. And then what became? At once Shankar Mahadev, he left Ravan and he was killed. In battle he never supported Ram. You know, Kans, Bhashmashu, or so many. Vasipik Shankar. And Shankar can give anything, even Krishna praying. And they were worshipping. But they became offender of Krishna, Aram, then Shankar. At, at, at once he left. And they were killed. So our whole, if you want to be a good devotee, our relation should be on that. <coughs> our honor to Vaishnava and Guru Bhai will depend how much he has faith in Guru Dev and Vaishnava and how he is so much advanced devotee. Not like that, he is my god brother, even he is doing offensing and uh, even he is my god brother and he is superior to all, never. Anyone in our family, Gaur family, is chanting and remembering. However, it may be that he may be our Nityananda um, family, Janama family, Shamananda family, Narottam family, any anyone that will suit. Honor according to their qualification. And <coughs> centralizing their relation to Krishna. If you want to. Anyone bore bosom friend, bosom of bosom, but it is not in Krishna consciousness. We have nothing to do with it. If you have friendship, then what will be? You will be degraded. So, you should, what it has been told in Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he has told in this song, you should try to follow, who are like a Prihastha Bhakta. It is very helpful. All doubts will go away. Nothing to think anything. You should follow. You should.
Thank you. by Sriman Balabhacharya. He's saying that Krishna is the uh, essence of all sweetness and the original Lord of all sweetness, and therefore everything about him is automatically sweet. That is, his lips are sweet, his face is sweet, his eyes are sweet, his smile is sweet, his heart is sweet, his walking is sweet. His voice is sweet, his character is sweet, his dress is sweet, his speech is sweet, his movements are sweet, his wandering is sweet. Everything about him is sweet because he's the essence of all sweetness. Then he goes on, his flute is sweet, his foot dust is sweet, his hands are sweet, his feet are sweet, his dancing is sweet, and his friendship is sweet. His singing is sweet, his drinking is sweet, his eating is sweet, his sleeping is sweet, and his beauty is sweet. How his sleeping is sweet? Because he dreams about Srimati Radhika. Yes. That's <laughs> 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 Yes. Everything? Explain? No, there's a few more. <laughs> <laughs> his deeds are sweet, his acts of deliverance that is, is liberating his devotees and demons are sweet, his love sports are sweet, his yawning is sweet, and even his chastisements are sweet. His garland of gunja is sweet, his garland is sweet, his Jamuna river is sweet, her waves and her water and her lotuses are all sweet. The gopis are sweet, Krishna's all pastimes are sweet, his paraphernalia and ornaments are sweet, his food is sweet, his delight is sweet, and his embrace is sweet. So everything about him is all sweet because he is the embodiment of sweetness. His cows are sweet, his coward boys are sweet, his staff is sweet, his creation is sweet. His, his mother is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and his all sakis are sweet, all friends are sweet. And his defeating of demons is also sweet. Everything is sweet about him because he's the essence of all sweetness. If you want to be sweet, what should you do? Yes, so sweet. Serve that sweet. For whole life you'll be sweet. Go to love. अज्ञान तिमिरंधस्य ज्ञानंजन सलाकय चक्षुरन मिलितं जीन तस्मै से गुरवे वंशा कल्पतरुभ्यस्य कृपा सिंधु दैवच पतितानाम पावने वैष्णवी Namo Mahabhadannaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Ye Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauravishaya Gurave Gaurachandraya Radhika Yai Tadalayai Krishna Ye Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhaktaya Namo Yang prapradhan tamanu petam apetu kritiam Gaipayano viraha kātaryādhuha Putreti tanmete ātar vobhinedu Tang sarva bhotaridayam munimāna tosmi Tavai vāsmi, tavai vāsmi, na jivāmi kayābhina Iti pigyan rādhe tang naimāma sarā भक्त्या बिहिन अपराध लक्ष्य चित्ताश्च कामादि तरंगमते कृपा मयं कं शरणं प्रपन्न वन्दे नमस्ते चरणारविंदं वन्दे नमस्ते
Srimadbhagavatam, Dasham Spanda, 44 chapter. Again, you should come along me. Oh, we should go to Mathura. Krishna and Baldev are now Mathura, invited by Akru through Akru. And there, Kans wanted to kill him. They had died in the arena. But Krishna when came home. By hearing the drum, drum sound, with so many boys, and he wanted to enter in the arena, but Kubalya wanted to kill her. Quickly he finished and entered the arena, took the tusk of that elephant, some drops of blood, a very beautiful looking, like two uh, baby lions. Baby lions. <laughs> No fear at all. No fear. They entered in the arena where Charun Mustik and others were. And at once finished Charun Mustik and jump up the... Uh, he wanted to jump. And when he was going to finish Charun Mustik, then Nand Baba was there. First day was there. <coughs> Deku was brought there. Ugrashin Maharaj. From jail he was brought there. Hmm? All that fearing so much. Now Krishna will be finished. Because he is a baby boy. Hmm? And Baldev is Baldev also like baby. And they will finish here. Hmm? And they took Krishna and Baldev Prabhu forcibly Charuna and Musti. Hmm? And wanted to wrestle with them. At that time, the wives of Yadavas of Mathura. They stood up and they were telling that uh, here Kali has come and Adharma has come. Religion. Eh? Here, religion. Has come. We shouldn't be here. And if we are here, then we are admitting these things. We should not admit. <coughs> Otherwise, sin will come also to us. So we should give up all the places. Oh, gopis are so fortunate. We are unfortunate. Krishna really is so beautiful in the whole world. Essence of all the beauties, all the madhurija, sweetness in Krishna. But we are unfortunate. We are seeing Krishna and Baldehiya. But he is now going to wrestle with these demons. He is some angry, pushing them and by like this. In be rush. Like a lion in cage. He are, we are seen. But oh, if Krishna is in Vrindavan, Kupi says how fortunate. Punya Bata Prajapu, Yadam, Nalinga Gudha. Puran Puruso Banachitra Malla Gapalayan Sabalasa Karyan Sabin Bikriyan Chati Girit Ramach Tang. Have you read this book, Swamiji? Prem Prajan? Swamiji has not. Swamiji has this chapter. You have not. Nay, Swamiji, he is not a question. No. Punyabat Prajiku. In this world, Prajh Bhumi. Is certainly higher than any place and so glorious. Why? Because Krishna is here. Vrindavan. And especially, not only due to Krishna, due to gopis. Not only due to gopis. Among them, Srimati Radhika is there. 
See the essence of everything. He is, she is the essence of Krishna Mahabhurja, everything, beauty and everything, sweetness. Srimati Radhika is the essence of all. So, in whole three worlds, Brajabhumi is what? Sutajya, topmost. Where? Nenenga Guna Purana Purusho Bhanachitra Malla. In a hidden way, secretly, O oh, Purana Purush, Supreme Personality of Krishna. Ishvara Parma Krishna Shachidhananda Vigrahana Virad Govinda. She is moving here and there, walking and playing with boys like friends, with brother, ladies like son, mother, this relation. Everywhere. Gaha Palayan, Gaha Palayan, always is nursing and supporting cows. Gaha means so many meanings, all senses. That is why he is Rishikesh, he is called Rishikesh. And cows, Vedas, religious, knowledge, all kinds of. So Krishna is always supporting, nursing, all. Shahabala, Avitha Bala Dev Prabhu. Karvensya Venu, Rengam Sweet Venu. And by this, by Sweet Venu, attracting whole world, whole world. And Bikri Anchati, all those playing in Vrindavan. Gokul, Nandagaon, Varshana, Namami Swaram, Satchidananda Rupa, Lasatunaram, Kokude Rajama, O Namami Swaram, Satchidananda Rupa, like God, hmm? like 400 Krishna, like Dwarpa and Mathura. <coughs> Girita, here Shankar, Brahma, Rama, Lakshmi himself wants to serve the lotus feet of Krishna, but he has no chance. See the other side of Jamuna in Belvan. Lakshmi even. He was charmed with Krishna and he left his husband Narayan in Vaikuntha and she came with a greed that I must be in Vrindavan, playing in and dancing and singing in. But she was just talked by Yoga Maya. Oh, you cannot come. First you will have to be gopi and then marriage with any go, and then you can come, otherwise no. Oh, this is very big problem. big problem. I cannot change my husband. <laughs> I am Brahmani. <laughs> then you should be here. No entrance at all. So, even they want to worship that they have no chance. Shankar wanted to Worship that Krishna. He was tricky somewhat. She came on the border of Vrindavan and he was worshipping Jogmaya. Jogmaya came. What do you want? Then, oh mother, Jogmaya, I want to see Vrindavan dance of Krishna Rash. 
Oh. Have you done anything for this? No. I have not done anything. Then quickly he took her, that Shankar and he drowned in Brahma Kunda there. And then he came, when he came out, he became a very beautiful gopi, teeny as a sixteen years. And then he told that you should be here and see. And when Ras was going, today no interest so much, no utsa. Krishna told Gopi Bhattan that why there is some defect, any Vijatiya Prashna has come. Vijatiya? Outsider. Outsider has come. Then began to search. At last they saw that in a group, in a grove, any new Gopi was there and they caught hold of that. Who are you? What is your name? But Jogmaya never gave me any name. What is the name of your husband? Or she was not married with any girl. Who is your father? Jogmaya has not given all these things. He cannot give any answer of any question. And then all Gopi began to... And his cheek was so... And he began to, oh, Yogamaya said me so. <laughs> then at once Yogamaya came and requested Krishna and Gopi, oh, he is my disciple. Please be merciful. Then he became Gopishwar Mahadev. Then from very far away he saw the Ras, otherwise nothing. So Krishna is so high, higher. So your Gurudeva has given relation to that Krishna, Gopijana Vallabha. You are so fortunate. Only this is the way, by chanting this Gopal Mantra and Kam Gayatri, having the relation with Krishna, you can be Gopi and then you can go to Praja, otherwise no way. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told to Raya Ramananda, Sarup Damodar also, to all. Sanatana Goswami, Rukh Goswami, all Siksha, he has told like this. You are so fortunate to come in this line. So don't be weak, never be. Many, so many problems will come, but be like Himalaya, Everest, <laughs> like Alps, not to his Goenda. Always serving Krishna. Good. They are all, uh, also glorifying. Gopas tapakim acharan jada mushmarupa. Lavan nasar asamodhanan nasiddham. Drigbhi pimantam samabhinamam durapa. Ekam tadhama jasasa suya yashvari jasya. Oh, what? Gopis are so fortunate. What they have done in past lives? What sacrifices? What tapa? A story it is there. If we will know, they are telling themselves that we should, we must do that. Do you know what the gopis had done in past that they have become the gopi? Or oh, nothing. They are kaya view of Radhika. Bodily manifestation of Radhika. Not any Siddha. And some of are there. So thousands and thousands of births, lakhs and lakhs births. Gopal Mantra and this Kam Gayatri Mantra by this in Dandakaran here and there. Lakh lakhs birth and Chaitan Mahaprabhu came here and he told that in a one, one birth you can do, be like that. You will have not to do so much practice of lakhs and lakhs birth. That is why he sent Rupa Raghunath, Srila Bhakti Gunod Thakur and others to Swamiji that if you want to be like that, or you will have not to do so much austerity like they did in Dandakara <coughs> here and there. And one Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw in a glance and they became like, oh, Krishna, 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 Radhe, Radhe, we began to do. So you are so fortunate. But be fortunate. 
<coughs> be fortunate, try to be. So they are telling you know, certainly Gopilas, glorious in whole world, that they are testing the honey of beauty, lavanya. It may be a money, anyone black, no harm. But there is lavanya. Eh? Luster coming from within. <coughs> like Pearls. Pearls. This is beauty. Krishna was blackish. But what was the Lamanya Sa? Beauty comes from inside. <coughs> that in India we tell like Pani, Mukpa Pani hai. Mukpa Pani hai manne Lamanya. Ananya Siddham, no use of ornaments or garments, beautiful, nothing. If a, a spot of ink will be here and there, of very beautiful, more beautiful. If dust of cow's feet is covered, oh, like powder, very more beautiful, more. If Krishna is naked, oh, more beautiful, <coughs> in any way. So they are telling, drink the people, gopis, always drinking the, the sweetness, that nectar of all these things. Durapame ekanta bham jasasas yasva. Who is he? He is the abode of all yasa, glory, fame, glory, shia, of beauty, aswar yasa, all kinds of affluence, sweetness. Mercy, everything Krishna. So you should try to know that your Mara um, your Bhajaniya hai. Worshipable deity is not a very sadharan, ordinary person. No. They are telling that, oh, Gopirad, most, most worshipable of us, that taking all the beauty like honey, but here what we are, Krishna is surrounded by so many animals. And here she is somewhat angry mood, wrestling with others. We are not fortunate to see Krishna like gopis. Hmm? Gopila is so glorious that oh, always <coughs> their minds and tongue is the chariot of Krishna. How that any? Jadohane mahanane matano palepa prankhan khanar virudito kshanamad janad Gayanti chaina manurakta thiyo yasru kantho dhanna prajastiya urokrama chitta jana. How gopis? You should try to follow them. Jatohane, when they are making like cows, what they are doing? Govinda dhamo dharma dhameti <coughs> with mushal and okhal. What? Mortar. Mortar. They are doing like this. Clearing rice, wheat, any grain. And they are doing it. Huh? With tal. <coughs> As if when it goes down like murdanga. <laughs> huh? And they are with bracelets. Like karthal, very sweet. And they are singing very sweet. Govinda Dhamo Dhamma Dhaveti Govinda Dhamo Dhamma Dhaveti Govinda Dhamo Dhamma Dhaveti Govinda Dhamo Dhamma Dhaveti Oh, plenty of milk which has been made like dadhi. 
and in big, big vessels. And they are part certainly in all. Govinda Dhamma remembering the part hands of Krishna and always doing this. Mathano Palepa. They are observed in singing. Even Krishna comes, but they don't remember. Don't see Krishna. And then Krishna tells, Oh, Maya, Maya, Maya. What? Oh, tu kakar rai? What we are doing? Tears coming out of love and affection. Hmm? And all the hairs standing, standing hard melting. Hmm? So all are doing like this. Mathano, Palepa, Upalepan. They are brimming their houses. By hands. Hands is working. But mind is also working. We are doing and turn, go in. Oh, there are some boys. Oh, they are weeping. Mother, mother. Eh? And they took at once and they were going like what? Petting them. Petting them. Govinda Rama Dharmadeji Govinda Rama Dharmadeji Govinda Rama Dharmadeji Govinda Rama Dharmadeji Not telling that you should sleep, you should sleep. Hmm? You should sleep. Not like that. Not telling any story. Often, eh? Nulla lava. Ah, nulla lava. What is doing that? And hearing this in a very good tone, the boys used to, children used to sleep, and they're skipping again, charming. Go in. Anuraktadhiyo. Their heart was quietly <laughs> absorbed in Krishna Chinta remembrance. Anurakta Dhyo Asu Kantha Asu Continuous and Kantha Chop Voice Dhanya Prajastya. They are telling, oh, glorious days. Go. All Brajbala. All gopis are so glorious. Dhanya means? Fortunate so. We are not fortunate. We are not seeing Krishna in this way. We cannot do here. Urukrama Chitta Jana. Urukram. Urukrama. That Krishna. Always sitting very happily on the throne or any chariot of Krishna Gopi's mind. Our Gopis are sitting on the throne of Krishna mind always. Krishna always remember. Why? Where the Bhakti will sing, he must be there. So Krishna always there. So in the mind of Krishna, all Gopis are always there. How fortunate. Again, Prataha Brajata Brajata Abhishata Shashayam Govi Shaman Kanyato Ashani Shamyabin Nirgamya Turna Mabala Pati Bhuri Panna Pashant Shashmita Mukham Shadaya Balukham Oh, how fortunate it was. In very morning, at about ten, nine, when Krishna coming from his house, the Soda house, with lakhs and lakhs friends and lakhs and lakhs cows, and he is going to forest to cover her. Then they sometimes on their top of houses, 
in front of their jangla khidki window sometimes standing on their uh, door sometimes in groves of the gardens here and there huh? very anurakta very observed to krishna and that huh? taking darshan of krishna and find krishna is returning from kaudhari in the evening all are seeing krishna and so happy and krishna what doing sometimes become so near her and he touches with his murli or vina there this and taking their all hearts he comes to braja and then jasoda maiya what doing arti are all gopis are doing arti more than jasoda maiya by there and krishna accepting smiling so gopis are so glorious so and these are glorifying who mathura is glorifying hmm? they have never gone there mathura and any one of mathura only krishna sent one of them to see the glories of gopis and nand baba jasoda and all others after that krishna and baldev killed charu mustik and at last comes was king then krishna and baldev came to uh, nand baba where nand baba was on his block called near by town of mathura outside he was waiting for krishna and baldev that when they will come i will take them both and will return to mathura and vrindavan first day after killing all were with krishna and baldev and they the krishna and baldev had no chance to meet nand baba but all were thinking of nand baba nand baba with cowherd boy was there waiting one day two days third day anyhow krishna and baldev came in night there krishna and baldev were sitting right and left baldev prabhu was in right way here and krishna sat on him nand baba was in big tent what you have decided you have decided that you are son of vasudev and devaki no father we cannot decide how we can have no in dream even we cannot think like this and both were weeping loudly and Bal- nand baba was also Sleeping. At last, when the Prabhu told, "Yeah, Baba, I want to come with Krishna with you to Braja," he told that, "Oh, I cannot take. I am not so well. well. You must be for some days here, because his whole sons has been killed by guns. Now only you are alone, alive. So you should be here." He told that I, without Krishna, I cannot live a moment anywhere. Otherwise, I will die. Hmm? <coughs> Then, Nand Baba asked Krishna, "That what should I do? What should I do?" And Krishna told that, "Father, if you will tell, I will be for some days with Baldev Prabhu to be here." And if all the Prabhu is going, the father, mother, but they, 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 and all Mathura Basi will die. So I think it will be better that I should be remain with Balde Prabhu here. And after some time, when they will be pacified, then I will return quickly. They are your friends. I have no relation with them. Only that they are your friend. You are my father. You are my guardian. Now here. Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur makes a purva paksha question. One explanation. No, I'm not first part. Putting a question. Purva paksha. Contradictory arguments. No, no. Putting a question before answering it. That if Krishna is son of 
Nanda and Jasoda. Not of Vasudeva Devi. How he can be there? Hmm? Anyone can live in a place where he receives more and more love and affection. Whether he is no son or son, this question secondary. But if he has so much high class of love and affection anywhere, he will like to be there. And undoubtedly, oh, all Prajivasi, so much loving Krishna and Balde, more than anywhere. And it has been told in Srimad Bhagavatam, Nand Baba returned without Krishna and Balde. And also it is right, it is true that Krishna never lives in Vrindavan. How we can reconcile? How we can reconcile? Now we have to reconcile anyhow. When Nand Baba was weeping, Krishna became and Baldev became of two, two kinds, in two forms. One Prakat Leela and one Aprakat Leela. Eh? Prakat Leela, Krishna and Baldev were in Mathura. But Aprakat Leela, they came with Nanda Baba. Where? In the son of Yasoda and Nanda Baba, Krishna, Brajanda Nandan, he returned with We know that Krishna never comes to Mathura, that Brajanda Nandan. His one form, one manifestation comes, like Vasudeva Krishna. So, in, in his bullock court, Nanda Baba, eh? he took Krishna and Baldev with him. But that scene was not seen by anyone. And he can return to Vrindavan, to Nanda Baba. And in one Buddha court, one Nanda Baba, manifestation of that Nanda Baba, was feeling so much separation and weeping, 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 weeping. He returned to Mathura without Krishna. Like this. Pati Thakur has reconciled all these things. And very, very secret. Only high class of devotees can realize this. Otherwise, all the gopis. And hope will die at once in a moment. Jasoda Maya also. So there are two things there, two Leelas, past times there. Aparakat Leela and Aparakat Then, <coughs> oh, now I am coming to my point that I wanted to tell you. All these six days, what I told, it was like introduction. Introduction. I wanted to give you some nectar, nectar of love of gopis. To whom even Uddha could not taste, he came to Krishna and glorified. So after that, what became Krishna went to Gurukul and I, I told all of you. And one day he was sitting on the roof of his palace. Jasoda and Devaki and Vasudev all were there. And he, Krishna alone, went on the roof of his palace. And he looked towards Vrindavan, north side, from Mathura. And he became so sad, and he began to weep bitterly. 
He saw that from here, Mathura he saw. His mother is waiting so bitterly. She had become blind. Now I've heard that uh, all the cobs are dying. So many died. Now all the cops are not taking milk from the arts of their mother. Now cuckoos are not singing. Even peacocks not dancing because no Krishna. So he was looking all these things and he began began to cry. Oh Jasoda Maya. Oh Nanda Baba. And he began. Oh gopis. Oh Radhe. Oh Krishna. And in the meantime, his bosom friend. Such in Krishna, and he saw that oh Krishna is sitting there and weeping so bitterly. Yet it has been told. Vishnu <coughs> Prabharu. Uta was most higher in rank in whole Mathura. He was so intelligent in all Jati. He was Prime Minister of Krishna. Hmm? Daitaha. So much? Near and dear. Near and dear. Shakha. Friend. Shishya. Disciple. Hmm? And Brihaspate. Sakshat Shishya. <coughs> and he is told to be like Brihaspati. But more than Brihaspati. Brihaspati, the priest of demigods. <coughs> and he came and saw Krishna with him. Krishna hold, he took his hands, in his hands. Uddha wanted to pacify him, but Uddha has no words to pacify him. Why Krishna is weeping? For whom he is weeping? Because at that time he has not known the glories of gopis. So he cannot realize what was virahanal separation fire in Krishna. And Krishna is burning. And anyone not qualified to save him. So he is burning, 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 burning. Uddhav came and told him. Five friend, you are with me. And then Krishna took his hands in his hand and began to tell Uddhav, Gacha Uddhav, Brajam Samya, Pitrino Pratimavaha, Gopinam Mayo Vabhidi, Masam Daishar Vinocha. Uddhav, you are my friend. You are my prime minister. You are all in all. I know that you are more uh, dear to my Baladev Prabhu, to Lakshmi, to others. More dear. More dear. Oh, you are my heart. I am your heart. And I don't know anyone. So I am telling this secret thing to you only. Hmm? You should go to Braja, Vrindavan, Nanda, Gokul. Hmm? <coughs> oh, Samya? Samya means? What is the meaning? Hmm? Like soft. But soft and pleasing like the moon. Mm. no. He is telling himself. Mm. Pitri no. Our father. Mm. Krishna may tell his father. But why is he telling that our father? He thinks that Uddhav is my brother. And who is father? Mm. Pitro. He are mother and father both. For Jasoda and Nand. He is in Mathura, in the palace of Vasudeva Devaki. They are there. But he is telling to that my father and my mother, Jasoda and Nand, are very unhappy, feeling separation, hmm? like fire. You must go there. Hmm? Pratima Abhava, you should pacify them. No? If Krishna is son of Vasudeva and Devaki. Why he is telling? 
Now Uddha, now heard that, oh, really? I know that Krishna is son of Vasudev and Vasudev. But why Krishna is telling like so? Hmm? Oh, it may be that partly he will be the son of Vasudev. You know how? Partly. But fully, he is son of Vasudev and Nanda and Vasudev. You should know. Swami he has sometimes, in the beginning he has written like this, that he was a uh, adapter son of Vasudev uh, and Nanda. But after that he has admitted all these things. And not admitted, he knew this fact. And gradually and gradually, like Sukhudeva Goswami has told, he follows Sukhudeva Goswami. So really, all Brajavasi know that Krishna is son of Nanda and Goswami. Not of Krishna. Now he is, he became some, what, wonder. That, oh, now Krishna is admitting that Krishna is son of Nanda and Yasoda. Yasoda pacified them. Why he Krishna told first to mother and father that Uddhava should know. My father and mother are so dear, but more secret thing is that my most dearest are gopis. So that is his turn. Gopi nan. May o mad biyoga vading mad sandai shai bimocha. He said, go. Taking my message to Gopis. Gopis are of feeling so much separation, so much. More than Nanda and Jasoda. So you should go and pacify them, not with your logic. Not your tattva, not your intelligence. By what? Anyone can satisfy giving by only words. What I'm telling to you? Matsan Desha. My message only, the words of my message. You should tell as it is I'm telling. Not mixing anything. Not a single word. And you should go to Gopis and tell. Then they may be satisfied. How the gopis are, Krishna is admiring, glorifying gopis with his own mouth. Ta man manashka, mat prana, madathe takta dayaka. Here is the glory of gopis. Krishna himself admitting and telling. I think that there is none in whole this world that they can glorify gopis like Krishna. Only Krishna can do it. And he could not glorify him, them so high. That is why he took the beauty and mood of Radhika to know the glories of Gopi. And he made his guru Vishakha Devi, Shiksha Guru. And then he knew something. Now in, in the shape of, in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he can glorify more than Krishna even. Only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has not descended to this world, anyone has no any idea of glorifying gopis, especially Radha and Krishna also. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And we are so lucky to come in his life, in his line. So much. Hmm? He's telling. Ta manmanashka, all the gopis. Hmm? Manmanashka, what is the man? The meaning of Manmanashka. They have engaged their whole mind, mind. Absurd, they are totally absurd in me. Nothing else in day and night, 24 hours. They think of me and they have all already absorbed in me. How? That I tell a story. What a story? You should tell in brief. You don't remember? Oh, you. Once there was a newly married gopi who came to Nandagao and her mother-in-law was stopping her to come out and take darshans of Krishna. But then she came and when Krishna was coming, uh, coming back from the forest after grazing cows, then she uh, 
pinched one of the calves in such a way that he ran towards that gopi who was looking towards Krishna. And Krishna, in order to come and take the calf back, he came and he touched the cheek of the gopi with his flute and quickly ran back. And now this gopi was stunned. She was looking like a statue because her heart was completely taken over by Krishna. So after some time, her mother-in-law came and she saw that the, uh, this gopi was standing and wasn't doing anything. So she shook her and told her, I told you not to see Krishna and you did obey me. Now you see, you cannot do anything. You are completely useless. And then she strongly with anger took her in and gave her some engagement. First, she gave her some pot and yogurt to churn. And then what was happening? Instead of uh, churning the yogurt, she has mustard seeds in the pot and she was trying to churn them. And after a while, when her mother-in-law again came, and then she noticed and she, she again spoke with harsh words and said, now I know you cannot do anything because you have been bitten by the black snake. Okay, I must make some other arrangement to bring you back to normal consciousness. And then she gave one rope uh, in her hand and so many pots and also so many pots on head and then gave also one child to go and bring uh, water from the well. And all the bright ladies, they are habitual that they can carry so many pots, one, two, three, four on their head and they can also walk towards the well. So as this gopi came to well, then she took off all the pots and she kept the child on the wall of the well and she made the rope, the knot, and instead of giving that knot, knot, knot that rope, in, uh, in, on the one of the pots, she gave that in the neck of the child. <laughs> because she's completely absent-minded. She doesn't know. She's not in her external consciousness. And then as she was doing that and about to drop the child in the bell, all the other gopis, they shot it and they said, Oh, stop, what are you doing? And then one of them said, Oh, she must have been haunted. And another gopi said, No, no, she's not been haunted. She's completely taken, care, uh, taken over by Krishna. That's why she's completely forgotten herself. Because her mind has completely absorbed in Krishna's thought, she's unaware of her any engagement whatsoever and this is one of the examples of what we are doing. Man manashka mat prana, mat prana, and their mat prana means life. And that is why gopis, when Krishna came from Vrindavan and came to Mathura, then they would have been diet without Krishna. But they were not dying by because Krishna was their life, their plan. So they were not dying. And also, Mat Prana, <coughs> all the gopis are <coughs> my life. Not my priya, my life, Krishna, all the gopis are. Madathe Takta Deihalpa. For me, they have given up all their day and day, everything. Their decoration, their taking, anything, and all jobs that left for them. Mame Vadaitam, I am only their beloved. No one <coughs> other. Prishtam, their eh? dearest. Manasha Gata totally observed in me. Kirtakta Lok Dharmansha Madhakti Tan Vibhavna. They have given up their all kinds of shyness, dharma, banasam dharma, everything. There has been everything for me. So I must, what? I must. I, I should must support and nourish them. <coughs> those who have left everything for me, those who leave everything for me in any time, I must <coughs> nourish them and serve them. He, this is his promise. So you should always <coughs> remind this. If you are giving up any all things, what do you think? And <coughs> always remembering Krishna, observing Krishna, <coughs> then you should be not in any doubt that Krishna is surely supporting you. 
So don't be uh, worry for your suffering, nursing and anything. We are depending on our relatives, but at the time of death, they cannot support, they cannot save us, but Krishna can save us. So he is telling that I must support and nourish. Oh, that is why you must go there. Maita prayasam prashthe durasthe gokulastriya smaranto angudimo yanti birah kontham vipala. And here, and there, telling so separation. They cannot do any job, nothing, even taking any remnant of prasad or anything. Always, they are betting for what? Oh, Krishna has told and promised that I am coming day after tomorrow. So all are bundles betting for that. Hmm? They are thinking that, oh, day after tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Krishna has told, so when day after tomorrow come? When? They are thinking that, oh, Krishna has told, so day after tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, and they are waiting. All the gopis are not, not entering in Braja, their houses. Where they are? In forest of Nandavam. Kadambater are Uddhav, uh, Uddhav Kyari are Kadambakyari. Anyone cannot see, only by the grace of Krishna, mercy of Krishna, or Yog Maya, only Uddhav Sade. Dharyanti ati krishnena praya pranana kathanchana patyagamana sandeshe palapyone madha. Only they are <coughs> keeping that light that Krishna has promised that he will can come. And they know that Krishna must come. But when coming? Tomorrow. That is why they are. That when Krishna will come and we will die, <coughs> then they. He will not see us and then he will also die. So only to please Krishna, that Krishna should not be unhappy. They are anyhow keeping their lives. So you should go over there. Then he gave his Vajanti Mala. He gave his golden crown. He gave him garments. Saffron cloths and also the chariot of Kansa, golden. And he was going in the way with Uddha, telling all these things, how Gopis are, how Nanda Baba is and all other things. But Uddha saw that it will be very late, so himself he he went on the chariot and sat there and he wept the horses and then again Krishna was still there standing. He was looking 